Hello, I'm Julian David, the CEO of Tech UK, and I'm delighted to be able to introduce the third edition of Tech UK's Local Digital Index. This initiative, which began in 2020, is intended to serve as a valuable tool for understanding the eight vital elements that constitute a robust tech-enabled ecosystem, which is aimed at benefiting various regions throughout the United Kingdom. So, what does the 2023 index say? Well, after three years, the index still offers a mixed assessment of the UK's digital landscape, but with noticeable improvements. So, digital infrastructure scores are improving, including in rural areas. Better broadband speeds and mobile coverage are available across the UK now. Trade measured in goods and services for export has risen on last year. There's also been a rise in research and development spend, and that's been very welcome. But the reduction in R&D tax credits does not suggest a universally positive outlook for future innovation. When we look at digital skills, we still see concerns across the UK. The percentage of the population accessing public services online is only 61% in London and the east of England, 57% in the southeast, but as low as 30% in Northern Ireland. Digital adoption scores are mixed. Business counts have fallen and the regional digital employment share is inconsistent. Finance and investment shows increased foreign direct investment in ICT in some regions, but venture capital and equity finance is still heavily weighted towards London. A new addition for 2023 in our index is the inclusion of gross value added scores for the digital sector in each nation and region of the UK. And this shows the digital sector's GVA contribution to the economy is an impressive 142 billion pounds. The six regions with the lowest digital GVA were able to reach the UK median. That would add a further 4.8 billion to the UK economy and specifically to regional economies. And that would create jobs, more growth, and improved productivity, which we all are looking for. And with that in mind, we've suggested a number of recommendations that we believe will empower and help UK nations and regions. These include modernizing the national curriculum at schools, renewing the path for apprenticeships and digital skills, supporting businesses starting and growing in the UK to secure capital, a new digital inclusion strategy, help for small businesses to digitally uh, grow and specific support for rural and coastal communities, often left behind in many of the initiatives. With the increase in investment in tech around the world and the explosion of new digital tech employment in so many industries, from green tech to fintech to biotech, to all the areas where tech is making a contribution, Surely this is the time for all of the UK's regions and nations to benefit from adopting digital technologies across all sectors of the economy. So, with thanks to our partners, members and stakeholders who've helped us to develop and deliver the 2023 Digital Index, I trust that you will find it both valuable and enlightening. Please visit Tech UK's Nations and Regions Hub and subscribe to our Nations and Regions newsletter to explore further insights and to help us help every part of the UK. Thank you. Mm -hmm.